Boing, boing, boing. Recording we are. Friday night. Well, not quite, but close enough. Get in here and fire the old dump truck up. I'll do a little video showing this job in the mountain where I was cleaning up brush. That's to be cleaned up at a later date. Forget about that for now. Just focus on some other necessary bullshit. Down there where the where the skitter is is where the project began. That's where the driveway started and he had this steep hill here in front of me. We knocked what was it four or five feet off the top of it and had the whole truck here and put it back in the building pad. Oh we had our struggles on this one. Kept me hopping so it did. See first off oh yeah it's in the north mountain first the North Mountain, every time you poke it with a stick, it rains. Rain comes out of the sky every time you poke the mountain. I don't know why. It just, it just, it just does. <laughs> so this is, this is sandy clay. It's like really sandy stuff. So whenever it rains, it sits there and soaks it up and just... It's ridiculous what this soil does. At any rate, we got it cleaned off and and I burnt the brush. There are treetops scattered everywhere, if you remember on the previous video. Cleaned all this flat out. Had the 314 here. Now the 314 with a couple of three foot stumps. Man, that thing feels kind of sorry for itself. It just doesn't want to pull them. But none of the bigger machines were available, so I kept pecking away with this one. <laughs> but we got it did. Look at this. There's the remainder of the stumps. Burnt most of them. Petrified some clay, sandy clay. Well, I had this fire so hot the rocks were singing. They would pop and crackle and shoot off into the air. It wasn't very fun being here because of the sandstone just kept hopping away. Here's the building pad. This is cool. Uh, it seemed fairly level until you got in the machine. And once I set my transit up, I discovered we had like 9, 10 feet of fill in the back of a 44 foot building pad. Ain't that cool. So we got started on that. Like I said, mowed the hill down. Brought it out, hauled it back here. It was kind of muddy the day we did that. Pulled some nice ruts in here because this stuff, the dirt just, it's like cake batter. You add water and you keep stirring it and it just goes to goop and it just continues going to goop all the way down through until you hit rock. Rock ain't very goopy. Then last evening, what fill we didn't get out of the hill, I dug out of the bank back here. Eventually he's putting a house back there and more of that gets reshaped so that's not finished yet. But it's finished for the time being, he's just putting a building up on the pad here. Talk about a view, look at that. Last evening, lost my train of thought there, the Bertha got the coronavirus. Let me show you. And it needs to go to the hospital. So, I had the pleasure of dragging the old C machine in here. I don't know. I thought I had enough of patience. I guess God thought I might need more. <laughs> because that's what that thing... It gives you patience. It teaches you patience or impatience. I don't know. It teaches you something. But here's what Bertha's issue is. On the inside... This pin sheared off. I believe what happened, these things are running on oil. So I believe it ran, leaked all the oil out 
through a bad o-ring because of maybe the sandy soil got to it and build up enough of heat once the bearing went dry that it sheared that pin off on the inside and there you can see immediately ran the chain off and I heard a couple screeches and looked over and knew something wasn't right because the uh, the chain was so monstrously tight that was unusual and something was eating that thing too wonder what went on there is that just from no that must have been the chain slopping against it come out here and it's off the idler so I put it back on with the tracker reached in grabbed hold and pulled it back on didn't go more than five feet it was back to its off position so got to swap out loaders and cool thing is I had slate coming to finish this driveway out so that threw me behind schedule moving another machine in delayed the trucking a little bit and kept me hopping to get the see this area was still a little high I wanted to cut it down yet to put more fill into the building pad and of course the trucks arrive and it makes you hop with some days some days being in a seat ain't all that bad and the next days it's just hurry up and patience never a dull moment that's for certain but there he's got it and look at that view I would have put a house up here too this is just lovely well I got to go take Bertha to the hospital and we'll continue on some other day I'll get more machine time for y'all the next time appreciate y'all